In August of 2014, Scott Cawthon, a failing game developer at the time, released what is known today as Five Nights at Freddy's. The game exploded in popularity and is now one of the most popular horror games of all time. But when there is a popular game franchise, there is always a huge fan base, and this is where Scratch game developers come in. Scratch is an online block-based coding software that is mainly used for schools to teach children the basics of game development, but people have been making games on it since it was released in 2007. But when does the FNAF Scratch craze begin? Well, we have to go all the way back to 2014 and the first ever FNAF fan Scratch game was released. The first ever FNAF game to be released on Scratch was made by 3D developer and was the first stepping stone to what shall be known as the biggest Scratch game genre of all time. It cannot be played on Scratch for reasons I'll cover later in the video, but if we play using GitHub, we can see and play the first ever FNAF Scratch game. As you can see, the main characters are of course, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy, and you must survive in your office for as long as possible. From a game standpoint, it's okay, but the sprites are low quality and it looks to be rushed, but it's still a solid game. Like, 5 out of 10. After this game was released, everyone was making their own kinds of FNAF Scratch games, and people were playing them and having fun. The FNAF Scratch community was booming, and there were over hundreds of games being released every week. But then the FNAF block happened. Teachers are complaining to Scratch of how kids are playing these FNAF games in classes and their schools, being concerned that they might have nightmares. So the Scratch team started hiring moderators and started removing FNAF Scratch games from the face of the website. Everywhere you look, one day, your favorite game was getting more popular, the next, gone, never to be seen again. Typing FNAF on Scratch won't show anything, making it near impossible to find any games. After the FNAF Scratch block, people have found a shortcut to upload their games and not get them taken down, making custom, new, and completely different characters, refraining from using the word Freddy, and to warn people that the game is scary before the game starts. Now the community was back, making even more FNAF Scratch games than before. YouTubers such as Candy is here and Brisket Dogs are a good example of this, both being popular FNAF Scratch game developers. Being a FNAF Scratch game developer myself, I respect these people making these games for everyone to enjoy, but making them even more popular by sharing them on the internet. Like Candy is here. Scratch Review, where he reviews FNAF Scratch games based off the viewer's choice, and it's amazing. There are so many Scratch FNAF games, all with different identities and styles, and I enjoy them all. Five Nights in the Void, really creative and spooky, and when I play it, I have a blast. Same with every other FNAF Scratch. If you really want to start off game development, I really recommend Scratch as a good starting software. Some of the stuff in the video I would have never known if it weren't for the community itself. For example, the first ever FNAF Scratch game was discovered by Ender the Gaming Guy, so a huge thanks to him, and good night.